wild horse in here. Most of these have never raced at this trip. Newfoundland, of course, has raced further at eight to one, and it's eleven to one bar. What about John Ferguson here, young trainer with a great chance, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Two hundred thousand pounds as a year. James Ferguson, sorry, John yeah, was his dad. Uh, but uh, he often does get mistaken for that, and he hates it. So yeah, good luck, John. Sorry, James. Um, sorry, John. <laughs> yeah, he uh, was saying that. Um, he was impressed with the way that he won at Windsor last time. Any amount in hand, he could easily take a significant step forward. Could be, could be in lightly off 89. Yeah, I thought he was quite well handicapped. So if he's been gelded, he's it's been a learning process. He's been quite immature. The horse has. Um, so yeah, hopefully he'll, he'll take a step forward in this. Yeah, that's the nature of this race. I imagine there's a few in here well handicapped. Who will come out on top? Let's find out with Mark. Thanks, Ed. We've just got two left to go in, and those are Mandobi. Went straight to the start with his red hood on, now taken off, and ahead of him goes to Secret State. Last one moving forward now, that's it. They're in the gates. And they're off. And this is the three-year-old handicap for the King George V stakes. Very slow to begin was Berkshire Rebel. It has to be roused along early. And also Vino Senna was slow to go. And another one who blew the start was Balhamba. The early uh, pace, though, is towards the inside. It comes from Secret State. Franz Strauss is also right up there. Isra is also racing forward, but three deep in the very early stages. Smilson with the noseband is racing just in fourth with Deauville Legend towards the inside rail. And then Aknamara who's another one who's posted quite wide. Tomesius Fox is next in the field, followed by Savvy Knight as they go down the hill and on now towards Swinley Bottom. Also out wide is Mandobi, who's racing just better than midfield with on the inside rail, early Newfoundland. He's racing in advance of Post Impressionist, who's taking a very, very keen hold in the early stages. Inverness is alongside Post Impressionist as they go around the turn. Vina Senna, who blew the start, has now really taken hold the bit and he's now passing horses hand over fist around the outside but he's four deep on the turn to do so with Balhamba still the back marker and it's Frankie Dottori and Franz Strauss who now leads them up the hill to Isra who races in second secret state to the inside rail is in third place Schmilson is racing in fourth still Vina Senna continues to pass horses but he's taking the ordnance survey route around the outside now he's just gone past Aknamara Mandobi another one who's never got in. Mr. Allen from stall 20 is another one who's had a wretched trip. At the back of the field, Post Impressionist had to be snatched up off heels. Pushed along at the back is Yashin who's never got competitive. Neither two as Balhambar in the first two-thirds of the race. Neither two as Berkshire Rebel as they begin to make the turn in. Trying to improve is Flying Dolphin but he at the moment is still a long way back in the run. So making the turn. Three furlongs to go. French Strauss has the lead by a neck. Israel to the outside is in second. Then Venus Senna turns Turns in in third. Looking for racing room is Schmilson towards the inside secret state. Down the outside, Agnamara trying to stay on together with Surrey Mist and also Mandovi the yellow down the wide outside. Mr. Allen is another one who is picking up late. They're racing down towards the final third on secret state and Isra are now the first two. Dougal Legend towards the near side still has every chance in a very close third. It's secret state who has got the lead with another hundred yards to go. Dougal Legend lunging down the wide outside. It's going to Staying on Isra in third, then Savvy Knight towards the inside rail. A very late headway from a Flying Dolphin. And just coming over the line, a long, long and ease last was Yashin. So it is a 31st winner at the Royal Meeting for William Buick. And probably more significantly, his third win of the week. It was a hard-fought victory. He cut every corner and he wins by a head. Doval Legend in second, Isra in third, it was Savvy Knight in fourth, and then uh, Johnny Murta's uh, horse on the outside in fifth, who was Flying Dolphin, who had a bad trip. Four to one joint favorite, starts uh, another great day here at the racing for William Buick, his third of the week. And this is a horse, Jason, we saw bolt up at the May meeting at Chester, had to battle here. Yeah, he, he's really had to um, battle, but also going up in trip, I think, is absolute key as far as he is concerned. Talk about earlier on in the week, William Buick had to bide his time on Caribus and wait for that gap to open on the inside. He's done another rail-skimming ride. 
Tutti Tori on the eventual 10th, if you like. He's shifted off the fence, and that's all the invitation that he needed to go and rail scheme up there. Here on the outside comes Deauville legend. The Ferguson team would have got so excited to run a really big race in second, Hayley. Yeah, he's run a massive race. <clears throat> Daniel was right up there behind the leaders, which for me was the place to be. You've got Frankie in, in front getting an easy lead. Jim sitting on his girth quite happily, happily dawdling along because they're getting it so easy. Um, luckily, William was, was right behind them, got the gap. But yeah, Deauville legend, you know, if they'd gone a little bit quicker, he might have got his head in front. And Will Buick on target to become champion jockey and now looms large in that battle to be.